Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome to the edition of Westbridge Hills. Alright, we've got a couple things going on today. Let me just show you this little thing that's kind of cool that I picked up the other day. So if you recall, I picked up the Night Growth mod not too long ago. And you can adjust it a couple different ways, and I've made a slight adjustment to it. And what it does now is it only grows... So it's like, I guess it's closer to what the Soul mod was like, where it has four days in between each of the cycles. So if I accelerate growth right now, um, actually you know what I should do first is, uh, oops, this guy right here. Let's just turn this down uh, just because I hate how you have to, you hit your chainsaw every single time. Anyways, so uh, what we're going to do is accelerate time a little bit. Now this should be fine even though I am accelerating past yeah, that's fine. All right, so let me just go and see if I can't find a field. Here we go. Okay, so the way I have it set up right now is it does like, it goes through its four growth cycles, but it's once once a night, basically. So here, it'll only grow between four, 12, midnight and four. Potatoes. Barley. Hmm, I think we have barley, actually. So, as you can see, it went up to a second stage, and it's only at the second stage now. So that's how this, uh, that's how I changed the growth, or the night, the night growth mod around. So now it works in that particular way. So it's one growth cycle per night. And that's kind of the cool thing about it. Uh, I like it, at least. It uh, does make things a bit more difficult if you uh, just want to harvest a field, for example. So, that's one of the downfalls of it, I suppose, but it's kind of interesting. You can, I can change, you can go and change it uh, whichever way you like, basically. Uh, I just have it set up that way because I just wanted to try it out. Also, one of the things you can do uh, with the drive control mod is you can turn off certain parts of it. So I have the shuttle control turned off, basically, because I never use it. I just It's more annoying than anything else for me to use. So I've taken the drive control, or the, I should say, shuttle control part off of the of the mod itself. So now I never have to, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So now I never really have to uh, turn it off in a tractor again. Because because I never use it, it's not really worth my time to use because it just adds an extra little annoyance for me. Also, one of the things, <laughs> the other thing the uh, drive control mod actually adds is it adds more uh, smoother steering, I guess. Uh, let's just grab that. So someone suggested this a while ago to use one hay bale, one straw bale, and the rest is silage. So basically you save on hay. And uh, I wasn't sure if this would work in this particular thing, but it actually does. So the only problem is you have to get, uh, you of course you have to get two separate bales. You can't just pick up two at the same time, which is the annoying part, I guess. But say la vie, I suppose. But yeah, that's how that night growth mod you can change it around so you can make it so it's one night and it's 100% growth but I have it set up so it's uh, one night and uh, one cycle basically that's how I have it. ah don't do that yet it's too early um, that's why I have it set up it's kind of cool though also you notice that we have four hundred eighty-seven, eighty-three thousand dollars that's thanks to the uh, the BGA actually uh, you get quite a bit of money for that, so there we go. Let's mix rations. So just one, one square barrel of hay, one square barrel of straw, and the rest is silage, and that will also work as well. Or two bales of hay and one bale, two bales of hay, and then the rest of silage that works as well. So basically, you're putting two bales in one way or another. Just depends whether you want to go for two bales of hay or one bale of hay, one bale of straw. So. That's the way it is. Let's just spread this out a little bit here. There we go. Nice. So, yeah, that's how I, that's how I have it set up at the moment. Just so I test it out. Uh, I, what, what it basically makes you do, if you have it set up the way I just mentioned, with the one cycle is one night, basically. If you have it set up that way, then it's about... You end, up, you end up having to manage your animals a lot more rather than harvest the, uh, the whole time, which is kind of cool, I guess. 
because you end up having to deal with certain things. Like, in this situation as well, I would have to deal more with the animals in a sense that, um, uh, like, making sure they're fed all the time. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. There we go. Uh, let me just see if I can show you the, uh, the smooth steering. So see how this is like a slower turn now? Because before it was like you hit the button and it would go 100% to the left or 100% to the right. So the drive control mod, it actually adjusts that uh, from what it seems like actually. Also, if you are wondering, I, uh, as I mentioned in one of the previous episodes, the drive control mod also adds indoor steering. Indoor steering. What the heck is indoor steering? Steering in. Jeez. Indoor sound. So, what you can actually do is you can actually adjust it. Uh, whoa, whoa. You can actually adjust in your indoor sound. There we go. You can adjust the indoor sound. So, let me just give you an example. I don't know if you'll be able to hear the difference, but I definitely will. So, if I'm over here. Okay. So I'm outside the, the vehicle. Oh, this one doesn't make it. Okay, there it is. For whatever reason, when the implements are running, it doesn't really, doesn't appear to dampen that sound at all. But when you're just driving around, it, do it definitely does, so. I don't know, that's what I kind of discovered about it. Anyway, so what I did with the, uh, the indoor sound was I actually reduced, uh, or increased how much it, decreases the sound by so now it's by it's a lot more I guess is what I'm trying to say so because it's a lot more it's quieter when you're inside as, as long as your vehicle's not running so if you turn this guy on he, he makes a lot more noise so all right let's make sure we get these guys over here all right now while that guy's doing that let's switch over this guy and he is running a bit low so how much manure do we have? 25,000 liters. But, you see, that's on the outside of this thing, and this is on the inside. So that's just the difference, that's how much I decreased it by. Uh, it's actually quite a lot, so. It, does, it doesn't appear to decrease the sound a whole lot when you're going like top speed, which I suppose is to be expected, but it's just the way it seems, I suppose. So. <clears throat> But yeah, I guess in the latest uh, edition of the drive control mod, he added the whole um, steering aspect to it too, or maybe it was added before and I just never realized. But uh, you tend to notice, like this guy, you tend to notice it's a smoother turn now. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a smoother turn now, because before it wasn't quite that smooth. It was more like a, a jerky movement, I guess, because it was like you'd go, because the way it works is like a binary system, it goes zeros or ones, right? So either you're 100% to the left or 100% to the right. That's the only choices you basically had. There was nothing else. So because of that, uh, that's why it looked like it would go, you know, 100% left and then not. So, but as you can see, here's the difference in this scenario. It's so much quieter on the inside of this tractor, and basically, it's uh, because it's <laughs> the awesome part about the mod is the fact that um, you can. It's like. It's across all the vehicles, so you can set your, if you want it to be really quiet on the inside, like I do, you can set it up like that, or if you want it to be just a little bit different, you can do that as well, so. It's one of the really cool aspects of it. All right, let's put this in there too. I don't think he adjusts the weight or anything in the mod though. Also, many people have mentioned this fact to me in comments. This is actually a high tip bucket. Um, some of the older comments, I guess, have mentioned that. Um, you don't really need to use the high tip on this. You probably should, but I just end up just tipping it because it's quicker. For whatever reason. Not a crazy amount quicker, but just enough for it to be not, not worth doing the high tip unless you really need to. Like, if I was putting that into a manure spreader, then yeah, that would be a bit different, so... At least that's my opinion, so. Alright, so what we're doing here is just making sure our animals and our BGA is topped up, because if we accelerate time too much without taking care of these things, we will lose productivity. So, in this scenario, our BGA will 
will not function. Actually, you know what I wonder? I wonder if, um, I bet you it does. Uh, the BGA probably takes a while to lower its productivity down or increase its productivity. I'm guessing, based on the other aspects of the mod. I'm guessing it does make a difference. So, if you turn it down, it'll it'll take a while for it to come into effect. I'm guessing. But I think I might. I'm not sure. I might change it back. I'm not 100% yet. The problem I'm going to run into is I'll end up recording a lot of what I'm doing right now because this is what you'll end up. Well, in this particular scenario, it's what you'll end up doing a lot of. Just because. Uh, I have it installed. I guess if I didn't have it installed, it would make a difference, but... Alright, and a lot of people are saying I should use the conveyor, conveyor belt mod to do this as well. Um, definitely that's true. You can do it that way as well. And let's put one bucket of silage. It's so much quieter on the inside of this thing now. Alright, one bucket of silage. I guess in reality, you'd probably want to you probably want to, uh, I would imagine, clean out the bucket before you use it for silage. I'm just guessing. Actually, maybe in a BGA it probably wouldn't make a difference. But if you are feeding it to animals, I would suspect that you would 100% have to. And because the bio biogas plant is all just biogas related stuff, I don't think it, uh, I don't think it makes a big difference or not. There we go. It's full. Perfect. Let's turn this guy off. So yeah, that was one of the cool aspects of uh, the Rabbit Control mod now, is that you can adjust the sound, uh, which I really like. I, I, was, I was sure you could adjust the sound, just based on the way the guy makes his mods. Anyways, what am I doing? Um, just on the way the guy makes his mods. Um, so, I went ahead and adjusted it. And you can do that in the, X, I think it's an XML file, or a config file, which is in, uh, if you're on Windows, the file I'm referring to is in, where is it? So if you go to your mods folder, it's like one step behind that. So in your main farm sim folder, I guess it would be. That's where it would be, I suppose. And I don't fear for Mac, I have no idea, I'm sorry. I don't have a Mac, so I've never owned a Mac computer. I've had, a, I've had an iPod before an iPod Shuffle, one of the old, old iPod Shuffles, which was a present a while ago. I still have it, actually, strangely enough. So I guess it would be the, one of the first generation ones, where without the screen or anything. I know a lot of people, I know I like them because they don't have a screen, because I've dropped it more than once. And it has been nice not to have a screen to worry about smashing. And it's made out of metal too, so that helped a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's get this. But as you can see, with the uh, indoor sound adjusted the way I have it, when I when the vehicle actually stops, it's pretty darn quiet. It doesn't it doesn't take into account other vehicles around you, and maybe it will in the future. Um, I'm just guessing because upside down, the guy who made the mod, uh, he really uh, <laughs> considers a lot of aspects, so it wouldn't actually surprise me if he figured out a way to do that as well. That's my guess, at least. Right here. Let's get some more silage. And it looks like our animals need a little bit more straw as well. Lucky for us, we have tons of straw. Perfect. I guess we could. You can technically spread straw with this thing too. You can drop straw bales in here. Uh, that's possible because it turns it into just chopped straw essentially. But uh, last time I checked, you probably wouldn't use this to spread straw in real life. Just a guess. Uh, the straw chopper is what you would use, of course. Let's make sure we get it all along here. Nice. Perfect. So, what we can do is... Well, let's switch to this guy. We can actually use our bale feed mod to do this. Alright. I can't believe how much quieter it is on the inside of these things. Uh, so let's get two straw bales here. Could we get three? Let's try for three. 
I don't know in real life if you'd be able to handle three. Maybe. Oh, it's a little dicey. As long as we take it slowly. And no cars ram you from behind. Oh, well. Doesn't seem to like three. Two's okay, apparently, but three's not so good. I think that the only reason why three doesn't work is because if you look at the implement, it's just not tall enough. Um, you can actually handle three if you're careful, but apparently I'm not careful enough for this to work properly. All right, so let's go ahead and spread this around. Actually, a lot of dairy farmers use quite a different, uh, quite a variety of bedding solutions. Uh, sometimes they use straw like this. There we go. And sometimes they use uh, sawdust, I've heard a lot of people use as well. I've heard people use um, dehydrated manure kind of mixture. I, th I think it's kind of like a, as far as I can remember, it's kind of like a dehydrated manure. Um, I think it's how, I'm not sure what the actual name is off the top of my head, but that's, that's what I remember it being kind of thing. It's a random way to pick up a bale, but whatever. So, yeah, it's kind of an interesting combination. I remember seeing it in a dairy farm they used. I, I guess because straw isn't, isn't as absorbent as this other material I'm referring to. So that's the reason why they don't use it. Then they use the other mod, or the other mod, the other stuff instead. Perfect. I'm not sure. I wonder if they'll ever come up with a bale chopper for square bales, because the bale chopper we actually have is not very, not well suited, I should say, for, it's not well suited for square bales, unfortunately. Like, it works, but it's not very pretty. Just saying. Alright, so now we have everything good to go with our cows again, or, as it says on the actual page itself, our vash. Actually, be live Ash, but anyways, what the heck do I know? All right, so let's hop back into our this guy right here and fast forward time again. Helps if I press the right button. Looked like snow there for a second. Actually, no, we can do. Uh, let's just see here. There was a great demand, if memory serves. I don't know if it's still on though. Probably not. Oh, it is. For barley and for potatoes, we have. Barley, I believe. How much barley do we have? That's uh, one load, nicely. All right, so let's take one load of barley to the flour mill. It's funny. Uh, I've seen more than one mod spotlight on this particular particular truck now. A lot of people seem to like it. It's nice on the outside, not so nice on the inside. Barley. Technically, I could use the. Uh, contractor mod to send this there too. Uh, that is a possibility. Why do I keep hitting that button? Jeez. I, I could actually hit the that button. Uh, flower mill. Is there anything else? I thought there was... There must be potatoes then. I don't think we have any potatoes now. Not ones that are ready to be sold at least. I don't think I've picked up any new mods. Let me just check here. Uh, I guess I picked up this. Oh, and this mod right here. That's right. Uh, for bale storage. Hmm. And this was... Let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, so this is a main farm. So if we come this way... So this is a mod I picked up on, I think, Mod Hoster. That's where I found it. And, as you can see... How do you rotate it? I haven't even left. Oh, did I really just buy that? Oh, man. Did not want to do that. <laughs> oh. How do you sell buildings? Is it in the same menu then? Or is it in here? Oh, yeah, it is. There it is. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, I actually have to go pick, click on it? That's kind of annoying. I thought you could just do what I just did there, but I guess you want if you need to pick it, which makes sense. All right. Categories, mods, select. We want this guy. And let's not click. All right. All right, so we could put it somewhere around here for our animals. 
that would be a good place right there if that tree wasn't there. Well, that's kind of bumpy there if memory serves. Um, hmm. Maybe down here at the edge. Now, nah, it said rotate with this. Okay, it is that. All right, so let's place this. Actually, you know what we will do first? Before I place it, uh, let's sell this first of all. And then let's go check on that particular location to see if it's actually level or not, because I do not remember whatsoever. It's funny, I don't know why the inside of this doesn't look that good. And I guess it's because it's a first version of it. The outside looks good minus the dirt. Uh, but the, uh, the first version doesn't look... Uh, looks pretty good on the outside, actually. Uh, yeah, I really gotta stop doing that. Apparently, this truck, as I mentioned before, you really need to hit the gas when you hit turn the corner. Or else it doesn't really turn. It's really strange. Do our sheep need more hay? No. Not yet. The other way I the reason why I know that is because I can't give them the full bail. That's the reason why I know that. Alright, so let's go sell this right here. There's our little bit of wool. 25% worth apparently. Alright, let's go sell this. I don't know, I haven't found any uh, any American style trailers yet, unfortunately. Not once. I tried to convert one and it was a nightmare. Because I don't know enough about um, converting mods, I guess. It's not as easy as it used to be, but... Yeah, look at that. Alright, so while that's doing that, let's just hop over here and take a quick look at the location we were scoping out. Which was... I managed to get bales on top of the roof over there. Not sure how. Yeah, this location would not be good right here because of that's really bumpy. I could put it uh, in the end here somewhere. Somewhere in this area. Actually, it's kind of flat over here. Hmm. I don't know if cultivators will cultivate these out of the way now. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, it's worth a try. I bet I could put it right here somewhere and then take out these trees. Because that is flat at the end there, but this part over here gets a bit bumpier, so yeah, this wouldn't be a good spot for it because it's a little bit too bumpy, in my opinion at least. Other than that, there really are uh, no other places that would be a nice location for it. Because that's too... that's uphill over there. Yeah, so maybe that is a good location. So perhaps we should take out those trees. Uh, I don't know if I, I even have the right equipment still. I think I sold the stump grinder. Uh, just because it was in the way all the time. Yeah. And do I even have the grapples for it? Oh, I do still have those. Okay, well, I could do it. Could do part of it at least. All right. So, as I mentioned, uh, some people ask me, like, are you ever going to do logging? And I, I, the, my initial answer is only if it suits me at that particular time. This is a scenario where I might just uh, take these two out because then I could put a placeable right here. Uh, let's just see how. Let's just see what the actual size would be. Oh, that's like perfect, too. Uh, but if I rotate that around, is it going to be enough maneuverability space? Actually, it might be better just to stick it like this. But then it's out of the way. Hmm. Choices, eh? I could put it in here somewhere. Uh, I'll have to think about that. But this is a good little location, but it is kind of out of the way. But it would allow me to just kind of cut the field, put the bale right in there. Anyways, I think what we'll do is we'll stop the episode for now, and I'll think about that. Maybe next episode we'll come back and cut these trees down. And until then, my name is Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2015, coming at you from West Bridge Hills. Catch you guys later.